हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न एंड ग्रो यहाँ पे आप सीख रहे हैं बी स्किल्स तो ये थोड़े से कमेंट्स आए थे जहाँ पर मुझे विजियो ऐप के बारे में थोड़ा सा डिटेल्स बताने को बोला गया था तो ये एक मैंने कुछ कोशिश की है ये मेरा एक मैंने फ्री ट्रायल इंस्टॉल किया है सिस्टम में ओके सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू हेयर आई एम telling you the way you can get the ms visio for free trial it will be for one month and for that you just need to go to the ms office 365 ms 365 right office 365 you can you can browse okay and uh, you can just install that uh, you know, basically you need to register with the, your personal email address and then its system will ask i mean the microsoft will ask you to create uh, a microsoft account uh, for you and then it will assign you 30 days free trial and a email will be sent to you on your registered email uh, and then what will you will be seeing there the validity period you can see and the the, the good part is, is is in this whole process they will never ask you to you know provide any uh, card details financial credential details anything okay it means if you forget to you know cancel your subscription your amount will not be deducted okay so it's free and before expiry of your free trial if you don't you know purchase the license okay by by paying the amount required amount your subscription will be automatically cancelled okay so if you if you see here uh, once i once i open this this url you can you can also browse the same thing i and you will get that in your email registered email address the url the link okay so not to worry about that once you click that you will be navigated to here and you just need to uh, it will be like showing right my account and then subscription view subscription you can see visio plan i have taken okay and then uh, personal account you can see okay uh, i will be uh, seeing what the apps i will be having access so if i go to the this list i can find the ms visio so i need to click on that so it will open the you know uh, the ms visio features and separate tab where you can select what kind of diagram you want to create okay so uh, i will just brief you in this session uh, what what is the basic features you can you can you can execute in the flow chart diagram okay and then i will show you the the use case and i will show you the activity diagram and other kind of diagrams also okay so ms visio privacy okay leave it okay so this is the home page of uh, a flow normal flow chart diagram okay you can see the basic uh, shapes on the left side and this is your board when you need where you need to drag or you can just you can like you can drag you can expand okay you can double click inside that write anything okay so these are the quick and cool features available on the ms visio okay you can uh, zoom a uh, little bit okay on your uh, there is a plus minus icon on, on the bottom of your screen you can see okay uh so the process wise uh, suppose you start to you know uh, create any diagram or flow chart diagram you want to represent any process for your system okay uh, a functional representation of your system or your application okay how you can do that so generally in any uh, larger organizations uh, the first basic thing you will be asked to create a basic flow chart diagram okay which is understandable by larger audience basically so you need to how to start you just need to pick up this start end okay you can make it color okay so yeah, i have just selected this box and then i just chosen uh, start mean green i will put and i will mention also start okay so and then you can you can select this one you can increase the font so color changing font changing you can increase the size of that okay you just need to select and then drag you know from your mouse or key key keyboard left left button right button okay so like that you can increase okay based on the 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 amount of boxes the number of boxes you need to put accordingly you need to arrange the sizes okay so start and then these are the processes 
okay processes represent the steps in your system in your in your take example i will go with a very simple uh, everybody knows right for any application any web based or system based application a user is supposed to take, access that if user wants to work on that application he must take login correct how he can do that so he need to provide the username and password correct so i'm going to do the same thing so i just put so these alignments you can set a okay like that a key from the for from your key up and down arrows also you can do that so enter enter user name okay next enter password okay very basic i'm just telling you okay and these are the arrows available very quickly so what else enter login button or hit login button you can either whichever is possible okay what will happen now system will check whether the username and password is correct or not okay so what you can do here uh, credential verified is username user now you put a short shortcut okay password is correct these are the decision box okay checks these are the checks you can change this checkbox color i will generally put uh, something different okay so that this is you will uh, a reader can identify okay what what the different uh, different uh, color themes you want to put okay you can differentiate the processes now you can increase the font you can multi select these things okay in one shot by pressing your control button you can just change the color for all if you want to okay you want to put uh, black color inside you want to highlight you want to increase font like that okay so and then if it is so what is that if it is okay, you can just copy this color theme so no need to drag again from the left side you can just copy this box from here itself so it will be carrying all the your theme you have selected uh, 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 user access the 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 home page okay how when when this this credential it means yes so how you can put that double click on the line put yes see easy right and then if no what will happen it means he will be asked to enter the username or you will be asked to enter the password whichever is whichever is wrong suppose okay whichever is wrong so no username is wrong username is wrong okay here no password is wrong correct so and then put the end the so login process you have demonstrated successfully on the workflow diagram is how that user will be and then i will put this theme color as a red because it's the end right so just for you know every diagram you prepare it should be looks good you know uh, for the readers for the viewers okay so see this is the way you can create there are some other uh, options you can see this is represent the database take example 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 uh, validation right so this validation suppose happen to any other system or there is a form entry form where the data will be stored so you can just put that system database okay to which will represent okay whatever the data you are entering that will be going to store into the that database okay uh, and then take example on the home page i have access one form suppose there is a form okay, right you you want to capture some patient details or uh, customer details so you you capture that from the home page take i will just show you to understand quickly uh, capture capture customer details okay after cap cap capturing the customer details you want to 
save the save the customer details right and then once it's save what will happen it will go and sit that information into system database right that's what the presentation okay you can give the the other theme for this also it will it will looks good okay for the readers okay and just connect these things okay so in this flow what you have seen uh, you can put another end button here which will be telling you the so user started user access the system system prompt for username and password user enter the username and password hit the login button system validates whether the username password is correct or not if it is correct he will access the home page of the system if username is entered wrong it will prompt by the system uh, your username is wrong something so it will be re it will be asked to re-enter the username okay and if the password is wrong he can just enter re-enter and then again hit the same button okay and then if it is all going well then he will capture the take an example from the home page he access the uh, customer details the uh, uh, right web page uh, screen so he will capture the customer details he will save the customer detail and then he will enter the save button and this customer detail will be saved in the system database okay there are some sub processes that also you can uh, inform uh, i mean you, you can you can represent take example within the customer details example within the customer details you want to capture customer personal details customer communication details customer financial details okay customer shipping billing details all those you can tag by this okay you can have multiple multiple boxes under that and you can keep on connecting the customer capture details like that okay so it will it will tell you okay these are the sub processes under the ca customer capturing detail only okay you understood right i mean these are the presentation only these are the different way to present in present your flow diagram okay you can so depends what kind of uh, uh, flow chart you are preparing okay data suppose there is a document you are printing okay you are you you want to import some data there is an input file a import file i mean customer details can be manually entered or could be import also right sometimes your system is giving that facility you can capture the customer details in a form of a csv or template okay and you can import so that representation you can be you can just uh, import data okay there is a document suppose there is a, uh, a sign, signing document is uh, suppose you capturing the do, uh, you, you will capture the customer details that you have to print it and then you have to take uh, docu sign on that and then only you can uh, save that details i mean it will be active customer so you can just present represent those all those things in a document format so there are a lot of icons which we use in a flow diagram okay this is a one page reference so suppose your flow diagram is floating in multiple pages so you can just represent these things okay this is a one page reference off page reference so it will be continuing till it is continuing this will be there off page reference will be the end of that okay so yeah i mean this is uh yeah workflow diagram i mean normal workflow diagram in the ms visio next video will be on the uh, use case diagram and another will be on activity diagram okay thank you for uh, watching my youtube channel so uh, please subscribe if you have not and please share with your friends